Welcome back, Tool fans. Tonight, we've got inspection cameras, toddler chainsaws, grinders, drill fights, and an exclusive first look at a tool that won't even be announced until next Wednesday. All of that and more coming up next on The Tool Show. Welcome back, Tool fans. I'm Sarah, and we're starting our Tool News off with Metabo, who has launched two 18-volt cordless impact wrenches in the U.S. market. The SSW18 LTX 800BL delivers 590 foot-pounds of maximum tightening torque, while the SSW18 LTX 1750BL provides 1,290 foot-pounds. Both tools feature Metabo's second-generation brushless motor, which increases motor life, maximizes power, and extends runtime. The wrenches are designed for a range of trades including metalworking, fabrication, and carpentry. They also feature safety elements such as an ergonomic rubber-coated non-slip grip, tethering point, and LED work lights. These are available now through Metabo and from dealers soon for $334 bare. Next up, they launched the KH18 LTX BL28Q, an 18-volt 1 and 1 8 inch SDS Plus combination hammer for drilling into masonry, concrete, and stone. The hammer is designed for through-hole applications, doweling, chiseling, and demolition. The combination hammer features a brushless motor and enhanced kickback control. There are two versions available, Bear Tool and Bear with an ISA28 dust extractor. The KH18 LTX BL28Q includes several safety features like Metabo's patented safety clutch system and anti-vibration system. The combination hammer includes a power reduction feature that reduces material fragmentation and provides increased precision when chiseling. Price will be $360.79 Bear or $476.30 with an attached vacuum. They are also launching a new lineup of three-speed 18-volt metalworking drill drivers and hammer drills. The line includes four new tool models in nine different configurations, offering Bear Tools stackable carrying cases or full kits with batteries and chargers. The tools boast a maximum tightening torque of 1,150 foot-pounds, impulse mode, 12 different speed torque settings, and the ability to drill through steel, wood, and masonry. Other features include best-in-class drill trucks, anti-kickback control, and Metabo second-generation brushless motors. The new tools are designed for a variety of applications from standard wood projects to manufacturing metal windows, doors, and railings. Which brings us to a very special tool that I teased about in the intro that won't even be announced by Metabo until next Wednesday, but we have it first. This is the WPB18 LTBL11 125 Quick. Modeled after the Corda WP11 125 Quick, their top selling four and a half inch angle grinder, it's made in Germany. 11 amps, safety slip clutch, it's awesome, very popular. Now essentially, their goal was to bring their most popular corded grinder and cut the cord without cutting anything else, and this time they did it. This is the WPB18 LTBL11 125 Quick. And every part of that name is important. Now, first off, the W means it's made in Germany. The P is for the paddle switch on our example. The B is for the electronic brake. The LT is their mid-level, which is leaving us to assume that an LTX might be right around the corner. The BL is brushless. The 11 is the 11 series, which match 11 amp power. And the 125 is the five inch in millimeters. Not only does this have the same power as their quarter WP11, but it's absolutely packed with features that Metabo fans have learned to demand. Like the S automatic mechanical safety slip clutch, which physically separates the gears from the motor in a binding situation. It also has the Taco Constomatic cruise control that maintains consistent RPM no matter how much pressure is applied. It also has their M-Quick tool-free wheel exchange, making wheel swaps fast and easy. The new version also has a smaller, more ergonomic grip with a clever rotating battery that allows you to move it out of the way in certain tight situations. It also has the highest overflow capacity of any 18 volt grinder, which means it will work harder than anyone else before overheating. There are also a ton of accessories like the cement grinding shroud, a cool guide that allows you to use their track system to cut straight lines, and a bunch more. If you're a fan of Metabo's industry dominating corded grinders, but you need to cut the cord, well, now you can. The new grinder will be at dealers any day now, and this version will cost $239 bare or $536 in a 5 amp hour kit. 
There's also a 6 inch version for 249 bear and 545 in a kit. It's time for a quick power tool show and tell. This week DeWalt sent me their new Tough System 2.0 adapter plate. It's tough case compatible and T-Stack compatible, so all of your old and new DeWalt storage solutions can finally play nicely together. Now you simply snap on your plate to the top of your Tough System stack, and then the smaller T-Stack boxes click right on top. The connection was strong and easy to snap into place. If you're investing in both systems, this thing is going to be a lifesaver. The best part is you can get it from Ohio Power Tool right now for only $26.09. No clue what the nine cents is for, but hey, a deal's a deal. If you're a fan of the Isotunes line of ear protection, you've likely already seen the Ultracom Aware. It's the world's first Bluetooth-enabled in-ear hearing protection with a detachable boom microphone, specifically designed to give you clear calls in very loud environments. That's a really big deal for you guys and gals who work on big commercial job sites where the noise levels are insane. We're big fans of this idea and look forward to trying it out, but unfortunately, the launch has been delayed until next month. Isotune sent out a notice that mentions a failure in their in-house testing, which means they need another month to make sure that the new product lives up to their expectations and ours. They said you can sign up to be notified of the exact launch date if you're just as excited about these as we are. I'll drop a link in our description. All right, guys, I'm getting multiple prize packages together to mail out this week, including the winner from last week's spider package of the Mock Blue Recips and t-shirt. Congratulations, Andrew Fernandez. You won that giveaway. Now before we go this week, there are a few videos that you won't want to miss, starting with the Torque Test Channel. This week they expanded their tool rankings to include angle grinders. To do this, they had to build a new 4.5 inch angle grinder dyno so they could test the actual power coming from a Milwaukee and a few Harbor Freight examples. And no, this fight does not go how I saw it going. I am super excited to see this new series from TTC. There are a ton of people who claim to have the best grinders, and I'm sure we're in for a few surprises in the future. Be sure to see it first at Torque Test Channel. Mark Thomas introduced Milwaukee's new M12 M Spectre 360 degree 4 foot inspection camera. He shows four accessories that can be attached to the camera, including a hook, a mirror, a rare earth magnet, and one for inspecting plumbing lines. He then demonstrates how to use the camera by showing how to take pictures and record videos and toggle the zoom between one and four times. Finally, Mark shows you how he plans to use the camera in a home renovation project to inspect the walls and run electrical lines. For the full video, visit Mark Thomas Builder. Mastering Mayhem compared the Gen 4 Milwaukee hammer drill against the Hercules. His testing was set up with both drills with a fully charged 12 amp hour battery and using the exact same bits. The test included starting 16 inch structural screws 8 inch by 19 millimeter lag bolts, quarter inch hex sockets, 17.5 inch by 1 inch auger bits, driving SDS half inch by 12 inch masonry bits, and 4 and 5 8 inch self drilling bits through 2 by 8 cedar lumber. Finally, the torque meter challenge was conducted and both drills were tested using the 1 and 1 8 inch socket to measure torque. Overall, both drills performed well in all of the tests, but Milwaukee's felt a bit faster in the masonry bit test. But the Hercules performed surprisingly strong. For the full review, head over to Mastering Mayhem. Commander of the Kite Army has a new weapon in his arsenal from EGO that you won't want to miss. That is the all-new EGO battery-powered Z6 E-Steer Riding Mower. Andrew introduces the mower, highlighting its unique features like the can't-miss steering wheel that controls the mower like a zero turn, making it easy to maneuver around obstacles. He goes on to describe the mower's design, including LED lights, 10-position deck height adjustment, throttle, mower blade controls, key, phone, accessories, slot, bagging system, and bumper on the hitch. He also explained that the mower's battery system and suspension seat emphasizes its comfort and plushiness. Throughout the review, he expresses his admiration for the mower and concludes by saying that anyone who tries it will definitely want one. You can see all of the details for yourself over at Kite Army. Matt from 731 Woodworks took a deeper look at the Milwaukee M12 fuel installation drill driver, the 2505-22. This little drill driver is perfect for projects around the shop and with the various attachments, you can easily accomplish multiple tasks at hand with one tool. There are several projects that having one of these would have made my life so much easier. 
especially when you need to get into itty bitty living spaces. Matt does a great job going over the entire kit and its performance. Go check it out at 731 Woodworks. Finally today, Tim Johnson got himself a Makita top handle toddler chainsaw. He covers all of the features and then puts it to work on various diameters of lumber to see how hard it works. It has some issues with the larger logs, but that makes sense being that this saw is still in preschool and it isn't designed to take on massive fallen logs. Like most top handle chainsaws, this was designed for arborists and linemen who need a lightweight cutty cutty solution that can still easily get the job done. He then goes on to say this. Be careful if you buy a top handle, because again, you kind of get that feeling that, oh, this is cute. It's still a chainsaw, still will hurt you. I mean. That's how I'm described to new people, so I mean, it, it makes sense. <laughs> to see the full review, head over to Shop Tool Reviews. All right, it's time again for the greatest tool deal on the web, the Platinum Tool Deal. But before we get to that, we have an issue to address. Now, last week, thanks to our friends at Ohio Power Tool, we were able to offer $50 off a $100 purchase of any Milwaukee hand tools, including pre-orders for their all new line of made in the USA hand tools. Unfortunately, there was a bug in the code which applied $50 off to every item instead of the order. So people were able to place orders of hundreds of dollars worth of tools and get it for a low, low price of $0. That was not the plan. Now, each purchaser was contacted on Monday to sort it all out, but OPT still felt bad about the mistake, so they gave them $60 off instead. They also told us that this was one of the fastest moving codes that we've ever done. So obviously there are a lot of people who want this deal. So they're gonna do it again. So if you use the code BABUSA again, this time it will give you $50 off $100 worth of Milwaukee hand tools, hopefully. Just remember, it will only work for the first 25 people, so move fast. All right, that's it for this week. For those of you wondering, Rob is still recovering from his battle with shingles, but I'm happy to report that he is finally seeing some progress, and we hope to have him back soon. I want to thank Ego and Spider for continuing to support our show and our community of tool fans. If you can, go do something kind for somebody else this weekend, and we'll see you next week.